Hi, I'm George Levy. I believe we're changing the world one blockchain at a time. And if we use this technology properly, we're bound to make the world a better place for everyone. So to help make that change happen, today, I am answering a question from one of the students of the Cryptocurrency Fundamentals course. Lily asks, what is the difference between a cryptocurrency coin and a token? That is a great question. And I'll give you the answer right after this. We will now look at the difference between a cryptocurrency coin and a token. For the purposes of this lesson, I will be talking about a coin versus a token as it applies to buying, selling, and trading cryptocurrency. The reason I'm, say, I'm making that exception is because there are some people that define a coin strictly as a means of electronic payment. So a Bitcoin and a Litecoin would be a coin and a token would be anything other than a coin that's used for electronic payments. But for the purposes of this lesson and this video, I'm going to focus specifically on how coins and tokens are defined when it comes to their valuation for buying, selling, and trading. For those purposes, a coin is a cryptocurrency which operates independently of any other platform. Examples of coins are Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum. And I will be showing you an example of where the coins and the tokens are listed so you can see how they are clearly separated between coins and tokens. So for the purposes of this video, you see that Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum are coins when it comes to cryptocurrencies. A token requires another platform, such as Ethereum, to exist and operate. Examples of tokens are Augur, Omisego, and Golem. These are tokens that are built on top of Ethereum. Now, there are other platforms that you can build tokens upon, not strictly Ethereum. There's NXT, there's Omni, there's Waves, and I will show you exactly an example of these different coins and tokens. What you are seeing now is a website called coinmarketcap.com that tracks the cryptocurrency market. It actually tracks all cryptocurrencies available and it is constantly updated as new cryptocurrencies are made available. As of the moment of this recording, there are 1,327 cryptocurrencies which are being tracked by CoinMarketCap. Now, as you can see the full list, you'll see the systems that we said. We said there's Bitcoin, there's Ethereum, there's Bitcoin Cash. But there's a definition between coins and tokens. When we go into to coins, what we see is that the ones that we define, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash are listed here. And yet, when we go to tokens, we find that it's a completely different list. We find Omisego, which we spoke about. We talked about Augur. We talked about Golem. But you also see there's a column called Platform. And what that means is that these tokens that you are seeing here are built upon these platforms. As we specified, Omisego is built on Ethereum. So is Augur. So is Golem built on Ethereum. But there are other tokens that are built on different platforms, such as Omni, NXT, and you see others such as NEO, Waves is another one. So the key point and lesson of this is that coins are standalone cryptocurrencies that do not require another platform to run. And tokens are actually built upon other platforms and they exist on that. So when you hear about any type of offering of a new token, that token is being created and launched on top of a platform such as Ethereum. I hope you found this video valuable and that you learned something in the process. If you liked it, I invite you to click like and leave comments or questions below. Also, I invite you to subscribe to this channel because every week I publish new videos. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We are changing the world one blockchain at a time. Thank you for watching.